Hello YouTube, Eric DIY here with another great review. We are going to review the bike seat clamp lock for Quali Sports bikes. We're gonna actually do it on the Dolphin, which I did a review of a couple months ago, maybe even a year ago, but I love this bike. And this is uh, the e-bike that I use, whether I go commuting after taking a flight on a plane. I also use it a lot without the motor, honestly, to do exercise. That, that, that's the majority, honestly. But it is awesome to have to fold up in the plane and take places. But anyways, we're gonna try this locking clamp. If you saw my previous review on the bike itself, which I'll leave a link in the description below to that review. One of my complaints was that the seat does go down over time. And let me show you what the seat looks like. The seat is actually the battery all in one. So this big post is the batteries the lithium ion batteries inside, and then you have the seat on top. So that's why I took it out, because we're gonna have to replace the clamp. I've used some carbon fiber grease to try to keep the seat where it's at, and it does a good job. It does hold, it's not like it's terrible, but it does still go down over very large bumps when you go over them. So I'm hoping that we get two things out of this locking bike clamp. One, I hope that the seat will stay up a little bit better when going over large bumps. And two, just to have added security, because the battery is probably the most expensive thing on the whole bike if you're gonna steal a part. Now, I don't know why someone would just steal a battery, but I mean, a battery like this goes for about 400 something dollars. So, better safe than sorry. The first step is just getting the old clamp off and all you have to do is loosen up the little bolts right here, lefty loosey, just enough till you get it off of there. And then honestly, you're just gonna pull off, just like that, and that gets rid of the old clamp. I'm gonna keep the old one just to have an extra, you never know if something happens. With the new locking design, I just wanted to show you what happens. First off, it comes with the lock itself, and you can see that you can't open it. This is the locking mechanism, which we're gonna go over in a second. This is just your regular clamp, and you see that it's not a screw anymore. They give you these tools. This will adjust it to tighten it to your bike. So that's how you're gonna tighten it once you get it on there. And then these keys are the security keys. They are supposedly not the same on every single one. So unlock the bike clamp, you're gonna stick the key in here and just turn and then turn back. And you'll see that this little metal piece popped up and that's what lets it be able to be unlocked. And then to lock it, you just kind of clamp it down like this, push down and it's locked again. So it's very loose right now because I want to get it on there. So I loosen this up a lot just to get it on the bike and it's gonna go on this way so that you do the adjustments towards the back of the bike and the lock will be in the front. I'm gonna install it really easy. If you unloosen this all the way, by the way, this is gonna fall out. You can see there's a screw in there and I have it pretty loose. So I kind of wanna get it on there. I just had to spread it out a little bit more. Put it on there and then we're gonna use the included wrench and we're just gonna tighten the screw. Which might take a while. But we'll get there and you just keep turning it until it locks all right we're gonna put the seat in next then we're gonna adjust it so it's very tight and then we'll test the lock right after that so you're just gonna put in like you usually would cable first be very careful that you get it in the hole first and then the seat and push it down so now i have to tighten the bike clamp to make it tight just the same way we're going to use the screw and tighten it up against this and then really push down, give it a good couple tests before I lock it all the way around. Finishing the last couple turns here. Uh, not the easiest to put on, but it will go on eventually. You just have to get it tight enough around it and we have to tighten this enough. And it only turns a little bit at a time with this wrench. Okay, electrical cable first, or I should say connector. Seat down. And it's still not there yet, but let's see what happens when we clamp it right about there for now. Then to lock it, we would just push this button and that isn't coming unlocked. And I think that would be a better design to try to keep the seat up over large bumps anyways, because I have a feeling that the old one, this would kind of move around just a little bit and move out and just loosen up just a little bit to get the seat to move down a little bit. Because it being locked, it isn't going anywhere. You will need at least one of these keys. So I'm gonna put one on my keychain that I carry with me when I ride my bike. I'm gonna leave one at home so I have a backup. And then the wrench, we should be okay with it, as long as it holds. I might just carry it the first couple rides to make sure that I have it adjusted the way I want it. But remember that you won't be able to do any seat adjustments here until you unlock this. I just wanna go over maybe just one concern I have, and it's not even proven yet, but on the old one, there's a little plastic piece that goes between here and here. And when I was trying to get this to be tight enough, 
to hold the bike seat because it was fun. You have to adjust it when you first get it until it fits you and what you do. Quali Sports did send me another one because they're fantastic like that. Their service has been great. I'm hoping because they have the same type of plastic piece between the buckle here. I'm hoping that that survives over time. I didn't have to crank this down as much. I think that the wrench adjustment is actually way better than having to crank this down. And I think with the lock, it's gonna stay in place. It's it's doing an amazing job so far. We're testing out the uh, Quali Sports locking bike locking seat clamp for the Quali Sports Dolphin bike and uh, just started but uh, it feels very very good very very solid and it's not moving at all but we're really going to test this on this ride today because I'm doing what I normally do where when I hit over large large bumps it sometimes has the seat slide down just a little bit. An update I did have to stop to adjust the seat but that's because I had to make the final adjustments and how tight this thing really had to be again I only tested it going up and down with the motor on once after adjusting it. So you are going to have to come out here and adjust the tightness of the locking seat clamp. Just another update here. We're about to go on this hill, which has a lot of rough pavement. Don't know if you can see that. And this is usually where the seat would bump down just a little bit. We're getting just minimum bumps right now, but when we go down the big hill up ahead, that's where the real test comes. And again, I haven't had to adjust it again. I had to stop and do a final adjustment. Well, let's see if it holds. We got some speed bumps here. That one was fine. Here's a bump. Now, nope, seat held. All right, let's go really fast down this hill. And I'm gonna try to hit all the bumps here. <laughs> so staying on this rough pavement on the edge. Here's a nice bump. Now, nope, seat held. Try to go over every single bump we can because this seat should not move. Right here is the roughest. The seat's holding still. The seat might need one little final adjustment. Went down just a very little bit. I can still ride like this. But uh, we're gonna make one final adjustment and then hopefully this will be it. But you are gonna have to do this the first time you ride it just to get the idea of how much you have to lock it down in tightness. All right, we just did another adjustment and I think I tightened it as much as I can. Uh, the wrench, you know, honestly, I wish you could grab a little bit better. I get it. We'll just see how this holds. Again, it seems to be holding it. It's gonna be an adjustment until you get it just right. And again, that's why you're gonna have to bring the wrench on the first ride. It might even be a little aggravating, but you're gonna have to do that if you want this to survive the long term. I think it's just an adjustment thing. I really don't think it's going to be because it won't lock eventually better than the old clamp. So uh, we'll keep it going. We'll see what happens. All right, making one more final tightening on this. And if you notice, you probably want to do the final tightening with this clamp unlocked and also loosened. And that's so you get it really tight and then you'll lock it down and really make sure it holds it. But uh, it really didn't slip down the second time at all. I'm just being overly cautious. You also don't want to over tighten it because that's what I did on the old one, which broke that plastic piece here. So just be careful, get it tight enough, get it snug enough, and then test it again. But I already like this locking bike clamp a lot better than the original one that came with the Quali Sports Dolphin. We're gonna conclude this review of the Quali Sports locking bike seat clamp, but saying that I did about four more rides and finally I got it to where it's totally locking down really tight. Uh, the tricks to that is that you do have to tighten this up far enough over here, okay? Uh, make sure that when you're clamping this down that there is just a little resistance when you put it down. And I'll tell you that's really clamping against the battery really well of the seat, but it worked perfectly today. We did about 12 miles non-stop, no slipping at all, and uh, it's perfect now. Um, just takes a little bit of adjustment. Pros about the Quali Sports locking bike seat clamp. Well, unlike the old one, once you get adjusted, the bike seat will not go down at all. It will not budge. Took about a good four, five rides to adjust it, but once I got it, you're there. If you just listen to me though, make sure that there's some resistance while you're pushing this in and then lock it down. And that should be tight enough to keep the bike seat up. I like that it's all metal. I like that it has this design where no one can get it off the bike. By the way, I can lift the bike up by the seat and the seat does not move at all. 
so it's really clamped down tight that's another pro overall really good design installation yeah a little buggy a little bit uh as you adjust it and put it on there first time but other than that it stays on there forever it stays locked and does well easy to take off as well with the key you just gotta get the key in there give it a little twist and then that thing pops up over there and then you just do it like a regular bike clamp so yeah easy to adjust once you get it every everything there cons about the quali sports locking bike seat clamp well the adjustment can be a little frustrating and again if you just listen to me and heard me on my directions just make sure that you have some resistance when you're pushing the lock in to lock it down there should be some resistance don't think you're gonna break it not too much though because then you will break it uh i know that because the next cut i'm going to point out is this little thing right here that keeps it nice and tight in the bike seat lock uh basically this is plastic and on my old version of the clamp this broke it just shattered so i would like to see if that could be metal in future designs so quality sports if you're listening make that metal and not plastic another con is the wrench that they give you it's 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 a wrench you know it works but as you get towards tightening it the final couple turns it does slip on this and you could see that it got a little dinged on those final turns they would do better to extend these end prongs here so it really grabs onto the little wheel in there that you have to turn wish they would redesign the wrench just make it a little bit longer make the prongs a bit longer maybe make the metal a little bit uh heavier or thicker instead of so thin now once you do get it adjusted it's really easy to just lock, lock it down to where you want it to be as you can see this is what i'm talking about there needs to be a little resistance see how it's kind of hard to push in it will go in but that's what keeps the bike seat clamp really tight and again you just want to watch out for this plastic piece which would break if you had this too tight but this is perfect push the lock down it's locked overall should you get the quality sports locking bike seat clamp if you have a quality sports bike yes definitely better than the original i think it should be standard equipment i don't even think they should make the old one anymore i think they should just put the locking bike seat clamp on there i think it's uh you know it's 400 something dollars for a battery so why not include it and give people peace of mind and also give them a better way of keeping the bike seat from falling down but it does take some adjustment. If you'd like to purchase your Quali Sport locking bike seat clamp, please look for a link in the description below. We'll send it to Amazon where you can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Earth DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that we'll be notified of future Earth DIY video releases. We appreciate all the support. Thank you and have a great day. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.